Your doctor recommended colonoscopy. The film of Kirai's clinic helps you to understand the procedure and to prepare for colonoscopy. Colonoscopy scans the colon from inside, from the intestinal cavity. The examination should only be performed by a gastroenterologist or surgeon experienced in this procedure. The colonoscope examines the cecum, the orifice of the appendix, the ascending transverse, descending colon, the sigmoid bowel, and finally the rectum. The role of the colon is the storage of stool and reabsorption of water. Colonoscopy is primarily designed to rule out the organ disease of the colon. During this process, tumors, pre-malignant conditions are found. Polyps, inflammation, circulatory disorders. Current techniques of high-resolution endoscopes, narrowband imaging, zooming, and the use of artificial intelligence allow us to predict the histological structure of each abnormality and choose the appropriate route of treating it. Indication of colonoscopy are detection of the place and cause of bleeding and to stop bleeding, detection of the cause of abdominal and rectal pain, to examine the reason of changes in bowel movements, to detect the cause of diarrhea or constipation, to determine the cause of lesion described by other imaging studies such as abdominal computed tomography, MRI or ultrasound. The colonoscope is a 130-150 cm long flexible tube with a fiber optic lens at the end. In some endoscopes, including this one, another lens moves behind in order to enlarge the image sufficiently to determine the fine structure. At the end of the handle of the colonoscope are the wheels that guide at the end of the colonoscope. The endoscope itself is moved or held in position by the examination staff, doctor or endoscopic assistant. Through the endoscope working channel, forceps, electrical loops, cutting tools, tissue and foreign body gripping devices, injectors, hemoclips, rubber band ligators, caps, hemostatic gears can be delivered in the colon to perform surgical intervention or to stop bleeding. During the preparation of the examination, we record your medical history, previous surgeries, illnesses, medication you have taken, and your hypersensitivity reaction to medications. The doctor examining you should be informed about cardiovascular, pulmonary, respiratory, hormonal comorbidities, due to which should receive special attention and care during and after the preparation. It is especially important to tell your doctor if you are taking a drug influencing blood clotting like humorin derivatives, new type of direct anticoagulants, thrombocyte aggregation inhibitor treatment such as clopidrogel or pezugrel. In such cases, the taking of the above agent should be stopped for a safe intervention. Prior to the test, the activity of your blood clotting system is checked by the laboratory tests. For those with significant valvular heart disease implanted with an artificial valve, antibiotic prophylaxis can be given. If you have peacemaker or especially cardioverter defibrillator implanted, please let us know in advance and bring your medical records with you. Please tell your doctor if you are being treated with insulin due to your diabetes. For preparing an anesthesia, ECG is performed, blood is taken for laboratory test, and blood pressure is measured. You are examined by an internist and then by the anesthesiologist. You will receive an information sheet how to prepare for the test. Please read this carefully and follow it exactly. The most important task is to completely cleanse the colon before the examination. The content of the intestine should be liquid that can be sucked out through a 4 mm suction channel. In case of poor quality preparation, the test must be repeated within a year. We switch to a liquid and pasta diet 24 hours before the test. 
and only a liquid diet can be eaten within 12 hours. The laxative should be taken in the afternoon before the test day with the use of purging tablets. Four hours before the colonoscopy, on the day of the test, a split dose of cleansing should be taken. During registration, the receptionists are informed whether you have a drug sensitivity, whether you have understood the procedure of the study. The informed consent form should be signed. And intravenous antispasmodics, analgetics and sedatives are used. This is why cannula is added for the administration of venous drugs, infusion and possibly antibiotics. In case of sedation, you remain cooperative, but the medication helps you not to remember in any convenience of the test. During colonoscopy, the colonoscope coated with the slippery material is inserted into the intestine and carefully guided through it. The device relies on the process during the test, which can cause temporary discomfort, or supply the gas and also cause temporary distension. Surgical interventions during the study are not painful. There is no sensory innervation of the intestinal wall. You can follow the test on the patient's monitor. Colonoscopy is a safe procedure. However, in some cases, severe complication may occur, such as perforation of the colon wall. It doesn't used to appear in healthy condition. Just in case of severe blood flow disorder, after surgical intervention or major inflammation. Following colonoscopy, you will emit it in a vague condition. You may not drive, work at high or in dangerous position. Since you are incapacitated, therefore, you may not sign a document or contract. Plan to spend the rest of the day by resting. After the examination, feeling of bloating and tension may persist, which disappears within 24 hours. Within three weeks after the test, you will receive a written histological result with an opinion from your doctor and an indication of what to do. If you need a control and you have previously authorized us to notify you, we will contact you and remind you by email or letter at the proper time. If we do not conduct the control test, you will not receive any further notification. Don't forget, colonoscopy is safe and effective examination to treat and detect colorectal diseases.